Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have a unique anime, which I didn't expect I would enjoy this much. Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian is a comedy slash romance anime by the legends Doga Kobo. The ones who made Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night, Gabriel Robout, New Game, Plastic Memories, and currently making Oshinoko Season 2. Yes, I don't know why Doga Kobo and Wit Studio are popping the fuck off this season. Wit Studio, by the way, is doing Shikonoko no Konoko Koshtantan and Suicide Squad anime. So yeah. However, this anime... This anime is about a Russian girl who basically loves this guy, the main character, and always acts like she doesn't care that much about him. Well, except whenever she speaks Russian, because I don't know why. Every time she speaks Russian, the truth serum just like hits her and she speaks everything like she doesn't hide anything thinking that the main character doesn't understand russian well psych bitch the main character understands russian and is just staying quiet he knows what she's saying but i'm gonna just enjoy the show that's what he's like the concept is really fun and by episode three it's already getting redundant but still fun it's a concept that works it's like showing kids that one cut night joe speed up video but instead of a potato singing it suddenly it's i don't know fucking uh, crocs it's a concept that works it is the running gag of this anime but yeah the art is phenomenal story really good and funny and something really refreshing main character is actually really damn good and i had to get rid of all that info really quick because we're gonna get to destructive territory sweet home alabama the main character's sister is fucking unhinged she's basically female toto from jujutsu kaisen but crank up the horniness to the max despite that the story is very enjoyable and sure it might have a decent chunk of fan service i mean if you like fan service you're gonna be happy but if you don't like fan service just a little warning there is a big chunk of pure fan service but hold on hold on i think this anime does it right the fan service is not just blatant it's mixed within the plot it's somehow natural unlike the 2.5d anime we're getting this season which has criminal amount of censorship really i swear it's, it's it's quite depressing just read the manga it's so much better anyway this anime is not just comedy and pure fan service stupidness this anime does tackle some deep topics mainly the honesty of work and what does one value is the value of work about what it is or is it about how much respect you put into the discipline of making it it's a great theme and yeah i think this anime is really damn good also the ending is mm, they have the song i don't know the actual name of it but it's the chu song once you hear it you're gonna know it uh, it's popped off on youtube at some point and yeah that's about it about this anime and go watch it get the fuck out